QuickBooks Desktop 2023 Help and Support Options. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Rock Castle Construction Practice File provided by QuickBooks going through the setup process we do every time maximize on the home page. View drop down noting that we have the hide icon bar and open windows checked off open windows on the left hand side. We're not going to be opening up reports this time because we're just considering the different options for the help and support mainly under the help drop down noting that there's a whole lot of different support options you can go to for QuickBooks, which can be overwhelming to start off with. So the first thing you might want to think about when you're looking for help is categorizing what kind of help you're looking for. Number one, are we looking for technical support, how to install the software or the software is not working properly or something like that. And number two, if we're thinking about bookkeeping or accounting, how to enter data into the system. If we're considering Item number one, technical support to get the software up and running, running properly, put on a different server or something like that. We may well need to be contacting Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, and possibly our IT professional rather than an accountant, right, to try to help out with that kind of process. Normally, the, the installation of QuickBooks is quite easy. We've gone over that in prior presentations, but if there are some special needs or something like that, you might have some technical issues that you're looking into. If on the other side of things, you're looking in terms of how to enter data into the QuickBooks system, in terms of a bookkeeping entry, or in terms of how to enter it from an accounting standpoint, then it's likely that you're gonna be wanting to talk to you. You could still talk to someone within QuickBooks and search around within QuickBooks, but then it, you might want to go to your accountant or you might want to go to a bookkeeping professional that has experience with QuickBooks noting that no matter what you do i would always try to keep in mind the the end user or the end result or what you're basically doing the quickbooks for which is generally to create financial statements for most small businesses we're going to have the need at least of using that data to create the tax returns at the end of the year so if we have a tax accountant that we work with they they might be able to help us with our bookkeeping and even if they're not helping us with our bookkeeping, we probably want to keep them in the loop so that as we're recording things, it will line up to what our end result needs, which typically will include taxes and possibly financial statements at the end of the year. So if we go through the help option, these are the prime. The primary help option is this first item here. So usually if you have any kind of question, this is probably the first place you're gonna go if you want to try to kind of solve the problem on your own. If you're looking for outside support, then the question is, do you wanna contact technical support possibly into it? Or if you wanna contact for bookkeeping, accounting support, possibly your CPA firm, your tax firm, if they're helping you with bookkeeping and or a bookkeeping uh, professional. If you wanna kind of look in your own self then you can research here. You can also get there with F1 on the keyboard, type in the topic up top. Also realize that because QuickBooks is such a widely used software, you can search other areas just like such, such as like a Google search or a YouTube search. Just remember that there's a big difference between the desktop version and the online version. So you've got a lot of resources in that way as well if you just wanna do a random search and like YouTube outside of the system. So then you could set up something like payroll, payroll or something. And of course you can search and you could find multiple uh, points here that can help you to try to hopefully hone down what you're looking for with regards to payroll. So that's the first place you're probably gonna go if you're gonna say, hey, I, I've ran into a, a problem. I, I need some, just some help, some guidance. I don't really wanna go outside of QuickBooks. I wanna see if I can research it myself. You can go there. You can go to like a YouTube and search on YouTube or something. And then we've got this next item here, find a local QuickBooks desktop expert. So notice that QuickBooks, because again, it's a pretty large uh, software, especially for small to mid-sized companies, it's got its own kind of um, resources oftentimes for people that work just in QuickBooks. It's got its own uh, license, its own kind of license sometimes that they provide for uh, people that are professional QuickBooks users. 
And so you could look up then by location, someone that has support. So this could give you an added level of support than possibly doing a search for an accountant that, that may not have experience directly with QuickBooks. So this would be an option, again, if you want, if you're looking for like bookkeeping help uh, within QuickBooks. But remember that if you choose this option, you also wanna think about what's the end result, who am I working with at the end of the day, which might be a CPA firm or your tax firm at the least. See, I would think first, can they help me? Do they have someone that can help me if I needed added help with bookkeeping? Because that should streamline things considering that I'm making my financial statements primarily for financial and possibly, of course, taxes that they're going to be working with at the end of the year. So you want to think about what's the easiest thing for them to, to make my end result geared towards making the year end stuff typically as easy as possible. And then possibly I look up if they say look up an accountant or someone that's a bookkeeper, pull in your bookkeeper, possibly someone who's a QuickBooks professional in some way. And then again, I would have them see if they can work with or have some idea of how you're gonna be working with transferring data between them and your tax professional at year end. And then when you fill this out, you've got your options here by location, of course, and then the services. So you can check off the services basically that you're looking for. Industries can also be very useful to, to make sure that you're looking for someone in your particular industry because different industries have particular needs, uh, particularly industries that have a special kind of accounting need, like a job cost system, for example. And then we got the products and services that you could search for as well here and then narrow down your searches and hopefully that'll help you to find someone in that case. And then we got the help drop down, send feedback, so product suggestions and so forth, if you wanna send that to the QuickBooks or Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks. QuickBooks Tool Hub, uh, fix setup and file issues. So this can be a place to go sometimes when you have technical issues. Oftentimes, if you have a technical issue with the installation or something like that, and you contact someone from Intuit, they may use some of the tools here on the Tool Hub to help, to help sort out some of those issues. We've got the internet uh, connection setup. So you can Note that QuickBooks is on a subscription model when you go, I think from 2022 going forward. And even before that, it always has continual updates. The continual updates are gonna be needing to update to the system. So for example, here I have 2023 software. Now, even though I, I'm not gonna switch or update to 2024 software until next year, it still has updates that need to be made to the 2023 software. By default, those updates are gonna be done automatically. So if you're working and you're online or you're connected to the internet, it says here, use my computer's internet connection settings to establish and connect when this application accesses the internet. It'll set those, those up for you. You can change that, use the following connection. I do not have, I have a way to connect to the internet. Please give me more information on settings and so on. So you can try to change those if, if you so choose. And remember that one of the benefits of the desktop version is that you can do some work you know, offline. You don't have to be online all the time, but in order to update the software, you, you need that. And notice that when you do update to 2024, or as we updated from 2022 to 2023, then we might have to go and get the full software and install the next year's version and then just update our data file as we saw in prior presentations. Closing that back out, we got the help then uh, new business checklist. Now this these are just kind of guides. So these aren't really QuickBooks specific uh, in general. They're kind of guides that are useful and you can try to say, okay, if I'm setting up a new business, if it's a new business that I'm putting together, you might wanna go through their little checklist to see if, if you've done everything in the process in order to set things up. And that's a nice little organizational tool that you can use as a guide. They have a similar guide to the year end stuff. So noting that at the end of the year, that's usually the business busiest time of, of, the, of the year, of course, for accounting, uh, uh, for your bookkeeping needs and so on, taxes and whatnot, payroll. So you could go through the checklist for the year end might be a useful tool. And then we've got manage my QuickBook account. So if you wanna go into your QuickBooks account and manage it, you can go to it here, or you can go to the Intuit website 
and log in there, add QuickBooks services, noting that QuickBooks has other add-on tools that could be useful that you would have to pay for typically, get paid faster, take credit cards and big transfers right into QuickBooks. So you can look into whether or not that would be a feature useful to you, dependent upon the type of industry you're in. Make uh, recording checks uh, simpler. Use checks designed to work seamlessly for QuickBooks. So if you're printing checks from the system, then you're gonna buy checks. Uh, get the money your business needs compare options and apply for funding. So loans in essence, uh, so financing options basically through into it that you'd want to be able to compare to uh, you know any other kind of financing options there. So then we've got uh, manage my QuickBooks account. We've got uh, add QuickBooks service. We got app center. So there are more and more, you might have external apps that you can basically work with in conjunction, these being other applications with the QuickBooks file. So you can try to look up those other apps and see here and see if there's something that you would want to integrate to have work with the QuickBooks system. And then we're going to go to the help. So we've got add QuickBooks desktop, manage uh, QuickBooks services, find more business solutions. That's the app QuickBooks, uh, update QuickBooks desktop. So it should update kind of automatically when you when you are connected to the internet but if you're not connected to the internet then you might go to the update desktop here and you could say update now and do those updates you'll still have to basically at the end of the year uh, install the new version of the software for example when we get to 2024 but you can you, you still want to update the current year as the year is going because they have continual updates throughout the year so manage my license so you can buy additional users. These are things if you have to update, if you have, need to have more people that are connected, sync license data online, change my license number, switch to Premier Plus subscription if you need to upgrade in that way. Secure password reset so you can reset your password in this way you may be able to log in uh, online and, and look at your account that way as well. Reset into it ID settings. So if you need to reset that, you can go here, QuickBooks, a desktop privacy statement. So they'll give you that statement about uh, automatic updates. So you can learn about the automatic updates that QuickBooks will typically do if you're connected to the internet. They can, they generally have uh, the updates being done automatically if you're working as connected to the internet when the QuickBooks file is open. QuickBooks desktop usage and analytics study and about QuickBooks desktop Pro 2023. Those are the main help options. So just to recap, remember that when you're looking for help, you might want to, if you're looking for external help, actual support from somebody, you're thinking, is it technical support? In which case I might have to contact Intuit, owner of QuickBooks and possibly IT. Is it bookkeeping or accounting support? In which case I would first think about the end user that's gonna be using my data, like my, my CPA firm, my tax accountant, can they help me? If not, do I want to look for a bookkeeper? If I look for a bookkeeper, I still want them to be in alignment to discuss what needs to be done with my CPA or tax preparer at the end of the year. Or do I want to look up myself how to manually do something? In which case, generally, I'm first going to look here and or just do a YouTube search remembering there's a big difference between the desktop version and the online version and keeping that in mind as I search using the appropriate terms for the search.